Imagine if you really did see dead men and women. Not in a sixth sense type of manner, but in an inexplicable mass resurrection kind of way. Maybe not in a walking dead kind of way, but at a holy cow grandma's back. Kind of an all way. While this may seem like a fantastic chance to catch up with lost family members, and to fulfill some of your personalities, it could really be dreadful. This is get value. And here is what could happen if every dead person came back into life. There are still way more dead men and women. When we return about 200,000 decades when modern people started to evolve and counted all the humans who were born between then and today, well, you'd be taking a look at a bunch of about 108 billion individuals. Now imagine all of those people alive right now. Some scientists believe that our world can support a maximum of 10 billion people. Now, still terrifying. But at least that gives us some time to produce solutions to pet overpopulation around Earth. So assume you are considering it over a cup of coffee one day, and you appear, and you see somebody you have not seen in a long time. Since they are dead. But they are not anymore. In fact, everybody who has ever lived on Earth is brought back to life. Just it is not a wonder, it is a catastrophe. Space is not even the most important difficulty, since, throughout all human history, until about the past couple of decades, most people lived in rural areas, and that's probably where most of the resurrected would go back to. Paradoxically, despite having enough land to feed everybody, we wouldn't have sufficient accessible farmland to feed everybody. And that has been to feed what is now only 7% of the entire population. There is simply no way we'd be able to feed 100 billion people. Under those limitations, 90% of the world's inhabitants would easily die of starvation within two months. And that is not even including deaths that would arise from the world war resulting in over-resources, that, frankly, are a really unfair fight. Comparatively fast, the world population would stabilize in a reasonable, if not a rather cramped, capacity. And while it would all be settled in a few months, people who survived the shock and awe would still be wondering, what the hell just happened? Whenever it's a totally impossible scenario, it will give you something to consider. The UN claims that in the last few decades, families worldwide have been getting smaller, and fertility rates are diminishing. But is it too little, too late? Catch up on other, big questions next time on Get Value. We hope you are learning something new every day from our videos. If you want us to cover a specific topic, let us know in the comment section below. We are doing our bit to spread awareness about the common health conditions and exciting topics. Do your part by sharing this video with your friends and social circle. Thank you, get value by subscribing our get value channel. Thank you.